Hello, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Amanda, otherwise known as the Tangled Skeins Crafter. Um, today I have an unboxing or unbagging, whatever you want to call it, from GBFKE. This is a collaboration, which means I did not pay for them with my own money. They sent them to me in order to unbag and review for you all. Um, I have two cross stitch kits and three little um, diamond painting kits. Let's start with the diamond painting. If you have not checked out GBFKE, they do diamond paintings, they do cross stitch, um, they do some home decor, but mostly it's diamond paintings and cross stitch, I believe. They have, it says festival decorations, they have a section called secret guarding, which I think is maybe all or mostly diamond painting. I'm not sure exactly if that's a brand or what. And then they have like Spring, Mona Lisa, Enjoy Sunday, plus unbranded cross-stitch kits. All right, I would go check them out if you haven't. I believe I have a discount code in the um, discount code area in the description box below. I think it's maybe 5% off or something like that. I'll try to put it up on the screen if I don't forget. <laughs> if I do forget, I'm sorry. All right, let's start with this cute, cute little frog. Pardon me for having my mouse and I'm going to try to keep my camera where it is. So my mouse and hand will be in here. This one is coming up, not found. I don't know if that means it is sold out, no longer available, but the link I have is not showing it. Let me pause and look. All right, I looked and on their site, I am not seeing the frog anymore. I see like turtles and a sloth, and unicorn, stitch, a crab, um, the flower ones I have, a bunny rabbit, a little mushroom, a duck, and a starfish in this size, this kind. And they're like $2.02 to $2.13. So this probably costs around there. Um, I don't know if it's gonna be available again or not. As of now, it's showing not available. Is it going to focus? I was going to... It's a little number. Alright, let's get this open. Probably should have done this while I was paused. These are just the little special... special drills. The, like the rhinestones. The, different shapes and sizes, different sizes really. Um, this is 18 by 18 centimeters. The picture size is 15 by 15 centimeters. It's got 16 colors. Symbols are a mix of numbers and letters. It's like no matter where I put my camera, it's just not right. I just thought this was adorable. And I have a little frame this will fit in. Um, it's nicely sticky. It comes with the, the regular little toolkit. It's been a while since I did one of these, I guess. Unbaggings. It feels awkward. Alright, it comes with the little toolkit, the little um, the tray, the wax, and the single place we can. Let's look at the rhinestones. I used to always call these drills, and then I saw other people calling them rhinestones. So now I call them rhinestones. Okay, let's see. Start with number one. Beautiful. Ah, oh, that is not the right color. I'm going to pause again. Alright, let's try this again. Um, they're a really pale ice blue. That's number one, two, even prettier, brighter blue. Here's some larger ones. Three, really pretty greens, larger greens, tiny greens, yellows, or amber? No, I don't know. Yellow, but it's almost that orangey yellow. It's 
orange, the tiny ones. The light orange, slightly bigger than the big ones. And then four, what is it, J, K, and L. I lost count of those, but like a nice pink, black, and white. And these are the only like regular, what are they called, resin drills. I can't hear myself talking. I hope it's recording okay. I've been having issues with my audio lately. Maybe that's the first little kit. Um, I'm not sure what it was called on here. Probably just frog. <laughs> Alright, next kit. I just think these are really cute and I find them fun to work on. Uh, if you would like to see me work on one, like if you just enjoy watching it, or if you've never seen anybody work on one of these these types, then let me know and I'll I'll record it. Me working on one, probably finishing the whole thing. Maybe a time lapse. I'm not sure. Maybe this would make a good um, whipping cat. I could talk about my job, I could talk about the concert I just attended, I'm going to try to upload a little edit for the concert that I went to with my daughter this weekend, soon, hopefully. Alright, this one is called Flower. It's another 18 by 18 special shape drill diamond painting, it's called 15 by 15 centimeter actual picture. This one has 18 colors. And I just thought it was such a cute, happy little picture. So it just looks like they're dancing in their, their pots. They got little butterflies flying around. Let's see, I should, oops, can't get hold of the film. Yeah, that's nicely sticky. And again, a mixture of numbers and letters for the symbols. I guess I could say everything's clearly printed. You can easily see where each drill is going to go. Also comes with the regular little toolkit, single placer, pen, wax, and a little tray. I call them boats. I feel like I'm lacking energy today. If I sound a little meh. I was supposed to actually work tonight and then I had a tough night at work last night, so they told me to take tonight off. They called it a, a peace day. Take a peace day and, and catch your breath. I think they were afraid I was going to just walk out and quit, which I was not going to. Alright, so that's not what we're here for. <laughs> Sorry. Alright, let's start with these. Pretty, pretty greens. Ah, it's not focusing good. Let's do a little farther away. Sorry for my ugly nails. I've been taking medicine to strengthen them, but I'm still not. Oh, look how pretty that one is. It's a pretty, like, pinky purple. It looks more pink to my eyes and more purpley on the screen, but very pretty. Some bigger reds, some smaller reds. Really pretty. Bright red. Vibrant. I love these like rhinestone drills because they're just so so vibrant, so pretty. It's red, oranges, pretty light blues. Some of the same colors as in the other one. Yellows, light blues. Four different? No, two different. Yeah, two different sizes, so we got the tiny ones. Focus. Anyway, anyway, tiny ones, slightly bigger ones than the larger ones. There's no huge ones in this one. Or in this, these two. Again, this one was, it's just called Flower. And the link, the links for everything I show will be in the description box if I have them available. Like the frog, it wasn't available, so I won't put that Alright, and then one more of the diamond paintings. This one is called Christmas Tree. It's 
special shaped drill diamond painting. 30 by 30 centimeters. This one is showing it's like normally $11.26 and currently $3.74. And it's one of those partial canvases. It's only got 10 colors. The symbols are just that symbols. It's really sticky where it's supposed to be and not sticky at all where it's not, so that's good. I just thought this was a cute picture and I'm going to see about maybe getting some kind of frame for it and put it up every Christmas. I just thought it was really pretty. And it's going to be nice and sparkly when it's done. It also comes with the tray, the wax, and the single placer pen. I have 30,000 of those by now, I think. <laughs> Not that many, but quite a few. But they come in handy. And you don't need anything special to do these. If you haven't done one before, that's all you need. They send you everything you need to do one of these kits. Pink colors. Start with one. Pretty little red ones. I don't know if you can see the difference, but these are more of a pink. Pinky red. I think just pink. I think the red is just reflecting. So red, pink, green. So shiny, so sparkly. Blue. I'm sorry I have so much reflection. Look at that beautiful purple. But it's really dark. It, well, it adjusted. My monitor still has a lot of reflection though. Purple, yellow. That's really pretty lemony yellow. So shiny. Now here's some special shapes. Can you see it? That one's a star. These are little, I don't know what you call them. I want to call them like a little teardrop. They look like little seeds to me. And a pretty purple. And then in a yellow. And it's just round again. Yellow. These are fun. I like the special shape even though sometimes I have, I'm fumble fingered and sometimes the pen doesn't pick these up as easily so sometimes it's a challenge for me to place them. I do have tweezers so if these become difficult for me to place with my pen I will use my tweezers but usually I don't have to resort to that. I usually use my tweezers to pluck off ones I put wrong. Like I said you don't actually need anything else. Everything comes in the kit. I might do this soon, just, just because it's really hot out. It's like a hundred something degrees out. It'd be kind of fun to work on a little Christmas one. Nice winter scene. Alright, I'm going to pause while I put these up and then we'll come back and do the cross stitch kits. Okay, so this one I've seen in a couple different, in a, in a couple different styles on this site. I didn't look too hard. They might have had the other one too, but this one is a more basic of the image I'm getting ready to show you. I should have it up on screen now. Um, my only problem is this is a DIY cross stitch, which I don't have the best luck with. But I'm going to try this out and see if any of the detail actually comes out. I mean, some of the ones I do from DIY is just fine because I choose like silhouettes and stuff. This one's a little more intricate, so we will see. If this one doesn't turn out, I'll get the other one that I've been seeing with the same image. Again, this is from GBFKE. I'm always afraid I'm saying that wrong. GBFKE.com. This one is called Silhouette Art Girl with Bookshelf, 40 by 50 centimeters, 11 count stamp cross stitch. 
it is showing as originally $8.57, currently $7.50. And GBFKE is one of those that often has, um, it's a budget friendly site and also often has coupons and discounts. Right now they're having five days left, so yeah, um, I'm uploading this right away. So they have a mid year sale going buy three, get one free. So if you add four kits to your cart, you'll get the fourth one free. Plus you get an extra 8% off. All right. So as I said, this is the image. If I didn't already put it up, I was supposed to. Looks like it's on tear proof paper and it's got 32 colors. So this is one of the better probably newer DIY cross stitch kits because almost everything else I have has like maybe 28 so this has a few more colors and it looks like it has a little more detail now the back is all like a white or off white so I might not even stitch the background I'm not sure anyway it looks like tear proof paper show you this without it doing the weird focus thing lots of different symbols and colors it looks like they I mean they reuse a lot of the same symbols but in different colors if anything these could be confusing but I mean since this is mostly the background it might not be I can see a little bit of it. Oh, my shadow's getting in the way. The webcam shadow. A little bit there. So I can see the difference. I think it shows up even better on the camera. I do wish the colors weren't as similar, but... Yeah, I think it's orange and yellow. Should be fine. Should be fine. I'm kind of concerned about her face because in the picture she has several different colors in the face. Giving her like the little hollow right by her cheekbone and stuff. And I'm not... I mean she has a little bit here. It might... We will see. We will see how it turns out. It is a little disappointing that it doesn't have it's not gridded out because some of these it's kind of weird looking at it like luckily I mean it is a stamped kit I'm not going to have to look to the chart often I hope I just feel like it makes reading the chart harder when it doesn't have a grid at all and it has a lot of just slashes for symbols. Anyway, I'll stop complaining. Looks so like it has 310, so it has black. 823, so that's that dark blue. 939, which is the really dark blue. 153. I'm not good with other colors. Those are the colors that I use the most, it seems like, so those are the ones that stand out to me. Alright, let's just look at the canvas. Ah, oh, they stuck needles in it. So I'm going to take those out. So it has two needles in the canvas, in the Ada. I still call it canvas. They're blunt the long eye. I mean, it's for a 11 count fabric. It'll work well. Alright. It is not surged. So fraying could be an issue. It's got a nice size border. I really like the size of the border. So if it works, turns out well, then it'll be easy to frame. Got the thumbnail of the image. Not as, you know, detailed as the original picture, but it still might turn out pretty. And then the legend or key. 
I like how they put like the colors alongside so you kind of know like if you pick up 498 number 10 but it's like a blue you know you have the wrong color because it's supposed to be like this red color I do like how they did that and I do like that there's 32 colors like I said I probably probably won't stitch the background but we will see sometimes I like to have some just mindless stitching so backgrounds background comes in handy it looks like it's printed pretty clearly it's very similar to the chart and the colors is just more saturated I guess slightly darker but it's still the same so it's you'll be able to if you need to look at the chart like if you get a damp or you're just not quite sure which symbol you're looking at then it matches it'll be easy to find where you are so that's a positive it's one of those really like rough stiff canvas I have a feeling that it'll, it'll probably soften up pretty quick while I'm stitching on it it's got a lot of not exactly confetti sprinkles it's got a lot going on it's got a lot happening I hope it's just enough to show the detail I really hope so I think I want to like it even if it's not as detailed as the picture I think I'm gonna like it I think I'll like stitching it all right let's look sorry I still have stuff all over my desk I guess it doesn't come with any kind of toolkit just the two needles that were in the fabric so let's look at the floss it's showing up almost what I'm seeing I was trying to adjust the color while I had it paused it's still coming out a little cooler on the cooler side on my monitor but it's still it's pretty this is like a lighter pinky color than what I'm seeing but yeah pink greens purple kind of a gray gray green purples grays greens more pinks reds brown really pretty blue it's nice soft has a nice sheen to it the floss does that was 1 through 18 and here's 19 through 32 pinks they're almost the same color but this this one's a little bit darker it shows up better on my monitor dark blues or pinks it's like a purple purple gray purple I don't know kind of a rusty brownish yeah brown I can't tell what color that one is is it a really light purple it's pretty lots of white like I said not sure if I'm going to stitch in the background or not but at this point I have a lot of white floss so I might go in to stitch it just to use up the floss because I have some other kits that I'm not stitching backgrounds on so it's nice and soft it's a soft floss I like it oops sorry I'm trying to get you to be able to see all the colors together it's just a lot of little bits a lot of like single or maybe two yeah strands so it's hard to really show them well but it's pretty colors I really like that image I'm looking forward to working on it I might start it soon 
I have so many going right now, it's ridiculous. Alright, and then finally, it's a Joy Sunday kit. Cat embroidery, let's see, it's called, yes, it's called Joy Sunday Cat Embroidery, 29 by 21 centimeters, 14 count stamped cross stitch. I don't have a lot of 14 count, but I'm really enjoying what I'm working on recently, have been working on recently, so I thought I would get some more. I might try a 16 count too. 18 counts just getting a little too small for me, but it's crazy to think just a few years ago I was, oh, I was doing a lot of 22 count. And I know people that do like 40 count and my eyes just won't let me. But that's beside the point. <laughs> I'm supposed to be unbagging and reviewing. So it's just an adorable image, is it not? Of course, Joy Sunday come in these reusable, reclosable zipper bags and the instructions for a cross stitch and all that's on the back, printed on the bag. So if you need a refresher or you've never worked on one before, all the information you need is on the back of the package. cover page is just paper but it gives you all the information the kit number the name the picture obviously it's cotton fabric cotton thread needle instructions can, comes with it it's 14 count which is two strands 29 by 21 centimeters I'm oh, sorry Ecology Cotton Floss. I still don't know what that means exactly, and then I'm not sure what that number is. Kind of interesting. Sometimes it'll say Joy Sunday, sometimes it won't, but it always has this little picture. Alright, let's look at the chart. It's on that squeaky paper. I like how clearly they have the back stitch. It's really nice. So it's front and back. It shows you that there is 24 colors and then three of them are used for backstitch. Numbers and letters for their symbols. And then it gives you the DMC code. Now I'll look, but I, I believe that the chart does not match the printed canvas, like the symbols are going to be different. Let me just get it out and I'll show you. Because on the chart it looks like what the picture is going to look like and then it has you know, all the, the symbols that matches the chart. And like you could use this and stitch it again on a counted. But on the actual canvas, it's more like contrast colors I use. And then the symbols are, looks like actual symbols. It's not letters and numbers. Looks like a lot of white, which makes sense because it is white kitty cats. This is a partial because it is not full coverage. You don't stitch the background. This should match your cover sheet. So same kit number, same whatever this is. Um, cat embroidery. Hundred twenty one stitches wide by ninety one stitches high. Whoops, helps if I have it in focus on camera then shows you the number, the symbol, and the DMC color. And the 24 are across the bottom and then the three back stitch are on the side. And again the number, the symbol, and the DMC color. I usually cannot read the legend on these that well. This one's not too bad because it's only 24 colors but the more colors and the smaller the print, the harder it is for me to read it. I don't think there's any, 
I'm going to have issues with. I don't think anything's too close in color. Because it uses the same symbols or whatever, but it's different colors for them. So I don't see anything that's going to give me any trouble. I've been looking at this one, this kit, for so long. I don't even know. At least since last year. Because it's such a cute little, cute little kit. Let's look at the floss. Alright, it comes on a floss card. This is the other one. This one has two needles stapled to the floss card. I'm just going to leave it on there for now. It shows you 14 count, two threads, into the crusted tip lobe. It's a small kit, so there's not a whole lot of thread. Not a whole lot of floss, but here we go. If it's focused at all. It's just a cute little rainbow of colors. We've got oranges and yellows, pinks, purples, white, black, greens, blues. I know I did that out of rainbow color, but order, but I think gray. It's a little bit of everything. Pretty pretty. I'll probably just work on this one at home because at work I don't have good lighting for smaller stitches. And 14 count isn't small. You know, it's not too small, but it's also kind of dark. I don't know. I might take it to work. Who knows? It's really cute. What do you think? Do you think it's cute? Have you done this before? Have you seen it before? This one you'd want to work on. So this is my GBFKE unboxing. I'm probably hitting my microphone. Those are my two cross stitch kits. And then I had the three diamond painting. The frog, the flowers, and the Christmas tree. What was your favorite kit? Have you done any of these? What did you think of them? Did I say the prices? $3.19. Tell me it's not just a wonderful price. And then she was $7.50. And then the, I, I don't know if you can hear it, but my cat is trying to get into the cabinet that we keep the cat food in. He likes to open cabinets. We put child locks on it and he broke the child locks. All right. Anyway, thank you so much to GBFKE for sending me these kits to share with y'all today. Um, let me know if you want me to work on any of them on camera. And let me know if you ever want me to go live to do Because I have still, I, don't, I haven't done a live. I'm so nervous about it. But let me know if that's what, something you want me to do. And I thank you for joining me today. And I will see you next time. <laughs> I'm sorry this was so rambly and weird. Anyway, thank you so much. Bye-bye.